Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Now, what the hell is this? Page 6 brought this out. I mean, the internet is wearing. She by Sheree, she by Sheree ain't shit. Wearing her ass out. Do you hear me? I mean, it ain't even funny no more. It's more so downright embarrassing. Now, y'all see that outfit? That workout outfit? Well, you see where it comes from. Sheen, right? This helper over here. Sheree Whitfield copied this outfit to the T. And she's letting us believe that she designed the shit. Okay? Or she had a designer work with her to get the shit done. Child, don't that look like the same outfit, guys? Well, they say selling that at Alley. Uh, what is it called? Alley something. Alley. I don't know. I can think of it in a few minutes. But, honey, baby. <laughs> you can see the time stamp on now. That's recent. As of today's uh, Monday, Labor Day. Now, I don't know what she did. I think she just copied and pasted her, um, what do you call it? Embossed signature on that shirt to represent She by Sheree. But child, when I went to go look for it, that's all I got. Got that last night, and I got this today. Meaning, it was yesterday, Sunday, and it was uh, today, Monday, that I went to look at her site. Now, granted, it is a holiday. Most people are off. But, <sighs> really, Sheree, your inter internet should not be off at any given time. People like to shop in the morning. Some like to shop in the afternoon evening and in the midnight hours okay they like to do their shopping so why is your site closed down that's a major no-no major no-no but basically um uh, we're calling out sheree and her bullshit aliexpress that's what it was called aliexpress now somebody told me it was on amazon i don't know if it was the same um maker or um manufacturer but sure i just think she has she just thinks we all stupid she thinks she can just pull the wool over everybody's eyes all of america and tune in to the real housewives of atlanta she think we are fools out here okay we wasn't born last night sure okay not knowing anything getting adjusted to this world we weren't born last night we were born but not last night girl child page six got a definitely piece of news on miss sheree whitfield okay we have evan real that works for page six style and he's written up an article on miss sheree whitfield the owner of she by sheree ain't shit but we say it over here. That's what we say. But she's known as She by Sheree. Okay. It goes on to say they titled the article Real Housewives of Atlanta star Sheree Whitfield slammed for Sheen lookalike clothing line. And personally, I'm trying to still figure out. Do she got some life insurance on uh, Mr. Bob Whitfield? somewhere because i don't understand why she ain't changed her name her kids are grown as hell they having their own kids at least cairo is anyway but she's still holding on to bob whitfield's name child to this day if bob whitfield got on his knees and begged for her forgiveness and begged for her to come back to him sheree would do it sheree would do it 
Okay. But anyway, we're going on to the article, and it says, Sheen by Sheree. The second coming of Sheree Whitfield, she by Sheree clothing line, has been marred by comparison to the fast fashion brand. Social media users slammed the Real Housewives of Atlanta Star 52 for selling a $130 gray two-piece at leisure uh, set that looks nearly identical to versions sold by Sheen and Amazon at lower price points. Okay, yes, Sheree selling that gray jogging suit, okay, or athletic wear for $130. I'm like, if you don't sit your $130 ads down, Sheree, get a clue, buy a clue, become the clue, okay? You need to adjust those prices, and you need to adjust them quick, fast, in a hurry, honey. Because, again, once again... I don't know why you keep playing with social media. I'm, I don't know why you keep playing with the fans out there. Oh, they would look up in and everything on your ass, Sheree. And you thought you were really going to get away with that? That we were going to be dumbfounded, bamboozled, who went, honey, baby girl. Woo, let's go back to the article. All right. Um, nah, you're wrong for these she sheen joggers and charging night prices, one person tweeted. Uh, another one said, hmm, when you can buy it from Amazon without the She Bought Your Ray logo for a third of the price, then I have a problem. Real Housewives of Atlanta added another. One fan even lamb, lamb blasted Whitfield for providing such a product after taking more than a decade to work on. <laughs> now, I'm that's what I'm talking about. If you're going to copy and paste me and go find somebody else to claim it as your own, put your logo on it and sell it for an expensive Spendable amount of money. Girl, please, sit your ass down. Like I said, sit your no-talent ass, designer, wannabe ass down, okay? Plus, go get in the corner and put the dunce hat on you, okay? Put the dunce hat on you and face the wall. We don't want to see you at this time. Because it took 14 years for you to get come up with this plan of action and implement it and then get caught at the same damn time. Really, she right? Really, girl. Whew, I can't, but she might be coming off your behind, Sheree. She might be coming off your behind, girl. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, but anyway, so after 10 plus years of no fashion, you just put your name in a lookalike Jeffree Star logo, printed it in a AliExpress Sheen garment, and, char and charged uh, it $130. Another viewer tweeted, Girl, how dreadful. We were rooting for you, shaking my head. She by Sheree, more like she by Sheen Express. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. You know what? Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hashtag. Oh, I don't know. It's like her kids should have told her. Mama, this shit ain't going to work. You're going to be the laughing stock of Atlanta and any other city that watches Atlanta Housewives. Okay? Girl. Candy is worldwide, okay? That bitch is worldwide for good things. Sheree, you gonna be known worldwide for foolishness, fuckery, fraudulent, fakery behavior, baby girl. And they're gonna be in your ass every time they see you. They're not gonna run up to you for no selfie. They're not gonna run up to you for a autograph. They're gonna run up to you and try to cut your ass out for selling this shit for the price that you got when it's not even costing that much without the logo girl we could forget that star logo okay that's not really that cute all right but i digress i move on it says whitfield's classmates or castmates were thrilled to see she by charade materialized following a series of setbacks that were documented on season 14 of the hit Bravo reality series. Okay, after going live with her merchandise on Sunday, the designer claimed that the She by Sheree website crashed due to overwhelming interest and an influx of love. Whitfield assured fans that the issue was being worked on and urged them to check back in periodically. Okay, we are working to get this quickly resolved. She wrote in a statement, We wish to serve you soon. Thank you for your interest. Thanks to the customers whom we were able to serve so far tonight. Who, girl? Who? I'm like an owl. Who? 
Who? Because would you not think they would put it on social media and tell the world, do the test, try on, trial, phase, you know, where you get the suit, you look at the suit, you feel the suit, then you take pictures of all that, then you go and get into the suit, take your selfies here and there to promote your stuff if it was that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? If the shit was on and popping, girl. But you don't stole somebody's idea and made it your own by just plastering your little star emblem embossment on the clothing, Sheree. Really, Sheree, that's what we're going with, girl. Is that what we're going with? Oh, my goodness, my goodness. And as of today, Monday, the website is still shut down. Sheree ain't served nobody. She ain't served nobody. She sure have not. She ain't served nobody. Going around him lying and putting up false advertisement, trying to sell something for an extra, <coughs> an extra, extra amount of money, a exuberant amount, trying to dupe us, hoodwink us. It's your crazy, right? You got to be, you got to be crazy if you think any hardworking person is gonna buy that shit for a hundred and thirty dollars. Uh. Uh-uh. Not, ain't coming. I ain't buying it. I can tell you that much. I ain't buying it. I'm going to try to find, you know, a little t-shirt if you made it in my size or a little water bottle or something because I am trying to start at working out. But this, this, hell, your water bottle might cost $40. And I know I ain't going to pay that. I know I'm not because I know you got it for a wholesale price and they usually run about $2 uh, uh, $3 a uh, uh, container. So, I, no, you ain't going to fool me, Sheree. You ain't going to fool me. Not gonna fool me, girl. You're not gonna fool me. You may fool some other people, girl. I'm like, Candy was sitting right there. Kenya was sitting right there, ready to offer their services but with your pride for sale. And you knew you were lying, too. And you knew the girls were gonna talk about you. That's why you didn't enlist their help. That's why you didn't do it. But, girl, going back to the article. Meanwhile, Whitfield's boss, how else, when the housewives. Honcho Andy Cohen was able to get his hands on a gray Shiva Sheree hoodie. I got mine. He captioned a mirror selfie on Twitter. Shiva Sheree, I am Sheree. Whitfield did not immediately respond to page six's style request for a comment. I bet you they did. And Andy Cohen didn't pay for that sweatshirt he got on. A, a sweat hoodie he got on. She gave that to him. Probably... Uh, send it through first courier. You know what I'm saying? Get it to an ASAP. Or better yet, she probably bought it when the last show had taped. She brought him a sample. Because he went on a, uh, on a website or he would have said it. I went on the website. I purchased it. The tax was this. The amount was that. And, you know, it is what it is. Instead of you making Andy Cohen or suggesting that he buy it, you're doing promo. Hey, you wouldn't let Kenya have your little mat. You know what I'm saying? But you, or, or your water bottle. But you're trying to get both of them away from Kenya. But yet, I guess because Andy is your boss or Bravo Entertainment is really your boss. But he has a hand and a say of who comes, who goes, I guess. But Shrey, you ain't shit. You ain't shit, girl. And whoo, the hits just keep on coming. I'm like, girl, girl, you get your shit to where we can visually see it. Then you have your finale season on the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 14. That was a big hit. Then you got two people on your ass from this particular uh, fashion show you did on your um, platform, which was the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, honey, you got the designer who said he designed them clothes, not them joggers, but them other clothes we saw on Sunday night's event. Mm-hmm. You ain't paid him. You ain't paid Drew. And, um, ooh, the thing here we dropped. Wait, hold on, guys. My mic done dropped on me. We'll just turn it like that. But, uh, yes, honey, you got Drew on your ass for starters. Then you got the man who uh, did the majority of your wares that was aired on Real Housewives of Atlanta season finale. Now you got fans coming out of your ass, okay? 
And like I say, they can make you and break you depending on what season it is, how they feel about you that day, and any other thing they want to come up with. They are mad as hell, Sheree. They felt like they've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, told a lie. Okay? And they coming for you in these comments. I wouldn't come out if I was you. I order everything to come to me as far as food, as far as groceries, anything. I'll have my kids go out. So, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't find me on them streets until I have made amends. Meaning I had paid the person who did my designs. I don't pay Drew Sedora back full in full, whatever she was asking as half. And I will come out with an apology if that's where you felt you had to do to get your, uh, what do you call it, your uh, fashion show off to a running good start. I don't know, honey, because you had too many people you could borrow money from because they know you just got back on the show. We really don't know what you do as far as getting your income to keep your house over there. I know you ain't taking your mama's social security check. That would be a hot mess. And I will be on your ass about that. Okay? you 52 years old. Still taking my mama's money. Girl, no, no, no. So you might be doing something illicit and um, not worthy to be known out in the public eye because you might be embarrassed. Something like what Marlo is doing allegedly. Are you being an escort, girl? Are you being an escort? Tell me what's going on. Because nobody know what you and Marlo do at this time. We want to know. We're nosy as hell. We want the tea, sure right. We want the tea. But y'all, that's all I have for this particular art article. Um, Sheree is definitely getting shamed out here in the world. Talking about she got look-alike clothing wears as other designers such as Sheen. <laughs> and AliExpress. Okay, they sell to the masses. They don't care what you do with them. They just have to come out the warehouse. And I said that warehouse you were probably touring was uh, either Sheen or it was probably Ali AliExpress. Okay? Sure, you ain't worth shit. You ain't worth shit, girl. You are not worth shit. Oh, boy. But that's all I got for this particular article. And I will see y'all on the next one. Make sure you subscribe and you share and you like the videos. And you know I like y'all to comment. Come with it. Because I just want to hear. Why does Sheree do this? Why does she go and upset us again? That we're going to drag all of this out. Until she dies or we die. Okay. We're going to always have a little kiki for her. Because it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. She resurrected her line to just bury it again. And hope nobody comes. She ain't even got no headstone on it. It's just dead and buried. Dead and buried. She's trying to just, you know, get out of it. But you can't get out of it. You can't get out of it. And I hope AliExpress, as well as uh, Sheen, don't come for you, girl. I hope they don't. Because the designer of those clothes that was walking down that runway of yours, he want his money. And he ain't playing for right. You better pay that man. Pay that man. Or risk seeing him in court, okay? On a silver suit. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. You know what to do. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.